So here's the ideal setup, it flowing from, by gravity, atmospheric tank into the inlet. You've got head pressure here while it's circulating. We're going to throttle this valve to get between 10 and 15 inches mercury vacuum. Once we have vacuum, we'll confirm we have suction on the funnel by opening it. We know we're going to have it, but just make sure that we have suction. Once you've got suction, you can shut the funnel, fill it with powder, open the valve, depending on the type of powder. If we're doing a, uh, like let's say we're doing xanthan gum, we're only going to partially open the hopper so that the powder is moving slowly, and that'll give us a higher percentage of liquid, lower percentage of solid. If we're doing sugar or dextrose, we're going to go wide open. Starch, somewhere in the middle. Other setups would be if you're feeding this with another pump. Let's say the tank is 200 feet away and we need a feed pump. The reason we don't want to do it on a trial, the type of feed pump is critical because it has to be a feed pump with a steep curve that we can throttle to control its flow rate, not like a 35-32 with a long flat curve because we can throttle all day and it's going to bounce around at too much flow. So we need a steep curve and we need to make sure that when that pump is running, it's giving us the flow we need, in this case 50 gallons a minute, with about 0 to 2 PSI right here. The next level besides a feed pump is if somebody wants to feed this table off their loop and their loop's running at 60 or 90 PSI, we've got to be able to get rid of all that pressure and that's really not going to work coming into the table. So in an installed system, the ideal solution would be if you have to take the pressurized high flow to have that feed a, bulk ta or a, ba a balance tank and we draw from the balance tank so that we have that break right here to atmosphere. It makes everything much more simple on this end.